Nigeria's Ministry of Finance plans to launch an infrastructure bond to resolve the deficit that currently plagues the oil producing country. In the meantime, state governments are tackling the infrastructure problems head on, including transport uh, head on. Now, leading the way is Lagos State's billion dollar light rail project. 11.2 million Lagos residents crawling in bumper to bumper traffic to get to their destinations in good time. Not an uncommon sight at all. For the typical Lagosian who does not own a vehicle, the choice for the daily commuters, the cheap but reckless Okada street bikes, the equally rowdy and boisterous small buses called Danfo, the aged and decaying Moluwe buses that are being phased out, and the more organized bus rapid transport system. But Lagos commuters may soon have a much faster and more modern alternative the Lagos Light Rail Project, the second of its kind in Africa. This urban rail-based transport system is a PPP project sponsored by the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority and constructed by the China Civil Engineering Corporation. It is expected to generate over 8,000 direct and indirect job opportunities. The whole system runs from uh, the central nerve of Lagos to the western part of Lagos, which is a gateway of Lagos. So it's, it's, it's um, actually addressing the needs of the people that are going towards the uh, gateway of Lagos, which is the western part of Lagos. So it's a run from the central part of Lagos to the, to, to the western part of Lagos, which is what it's meant for. And really, the target, or the, um, uh, the, the target uh, market is actually the, the masses, everybody. Um, because number one, we want to increase the mobility in Lagos State and secondly, we also want people to start enjoying uh, reduced travel time so that they can leave their cars at home and make use of um, reliable means of transportation and um, it has about um, 14 stations and it's going to cross uh, the bottleneck of Lagos which is the, um, the Lagos Island itself which is the commercial nerve of the, of the city. Five years since it kicked off, phase one of the project, which will be the 27-kilometer blue line, is already visibly underway, with the pre-castings for the rail bridge already complete. Other equipment like electric power generators, signaling, rolling stock and fare collection equipment will be provided by the private sector under a concession contract. We've gone beyond the usual right of way of the blue line. We've started putting up the road is on with our water contract for the second phase of the project that will take it to almost three quarter of the distance for the road. Without the road, the rail will not move. So we are fast moving on the road construction. The beams, the pylons for the rail are up. The stations are up. So it's a precision engineering job. We are looking forward to the next two, three years. In terms of the operation, we are, also, we are doing a PPP uh, uh, system whereby uh, the state is actually financing the infrastructure and the private sector is going to uh, uh, provide the rolling stock and run it over 25 years and also maintain the tracks. Upon the completion of the Blue Line, the end-to-end -end journey time from the outer city to Lagos Island, the commercial center, will be approximately 35 minutes, significantly reducing travel time and some of the stress associated with congested traffic at an affordable price. Our initial estimate is um, $1.6 billion. And, and again, we're still um, looking at uh, means of um, getting international donors to make contributions to it. So at the end of the day, and if you're going to include the cost of um, uh, financing as well, it might be less than that, it might be a bit more than that. The cost of the rail system uh, from our analysis is going to be cheaper um, to what people are paying right now from Okokomayo going to, uh, to CMS. So it's going to be uh, cheaper, it's going to be affordable, it's going to be reliable, it's going to be faster. While there have been whispers of funding challenges facing the project, the state government has assured the public that nothing will stop its progress and expects to deliver the first seven kilometers of the Blue Line before the end of 2012. Uchiro Koroko, CNBC Africa, Lagos.